Welcome to The Rivalry Rant, the show where we discuss everything important that's happened in the world of Dota and have some fun in the process. Now today, we're gonna look at the post TI9 world and imagine the futures of the folks who unfortunately were banned until 2038. Now, before we get into that, in case you were living under a rock for the past month, OG managed to do what was thought to be the impossible and defend their TI title. Now, naturally, other teams kind of looking to shake things up, change their roster a little bit. For instance, VP clearly had enough of choking at TI, so they finally broke up the longest standing roster in the pro scene. They also shipped out their coach as Pasha joined the memory hole that is Na'Vi. And speaking of fallen heroes, although not usually the cliffed ones, EG has removed both of the previous TI winners from the squad to make room for Abed and Ramses, while Nip has brought back Universe alongside three relatively unknown players. Meanwhile, Sumail seems to have already found his next adventure, and we can only hope that they keep this team name going forward. Now, in other news, Dendi is back! Or at least he plans to return, potentially in a different role than before. The legendary veteran has finally been phased out of Na'Vi, with the next step to create his own org. Now right now all we've got is lofty plans and a lo-fi website alongside a bunch of visitor comments. So this comeback is not exactly Shorty's T800 so far, but we can hope it won't end up like Terminator 5. The DPC is also making a triumphant return, trampling schedules and causing chaos everywhere. It's good to see that Valve finally listened to the community's complaints and completely overhauled the system in a way that benefits everyone. And who could forget the highs of their community interaction as of late? Now, game Newell! Welcome to Midas Mode. All that's missing are flip-flops. Maybe a crop top. It's good to see that the devs have set their priorities straight, also making sure that the most devious ones among us can't play Dota for the next 19 years. Or longer. This was just one of the quirks of the big matchmaking update which wreaked havoc on the community. It's a huge revamp of the existing system, and one which has received mixed feelings across the community. Except for the, uh, the, you know, the kids that got nuked by the Uber ban. The year is 2038, and Techies players of 2019 raised their heads in hope that Squee will ride free once again. They launched Dota knowing the ghost town of a game still has a few dedicated players. This must be the day. They click find match, and the red text greets them once again. They put their heads down and cry sweet, sweet tears of despair as the salt ran out years before. They sigh and launch Artifact, finally accepting their fate. So what else have we got to look forward to? Well, there's Stream League Season 12 in the middle of October, and the first two DPC events following the month after that. And of course, lots and lots of juicy roster moves in the meantime. Can Team Secret keep up their dominance in the circuit? Will Io get nerfed again? Can Dendi actually make a comeback? That's next time on The Rivalry Rant. Oh. Oh, shit. Enigma. Enigma doesn't have legs. <laughs> what the hell? I don't Did know. You I play that hero. I think it's a color.